See you in the toilet. Woo! Where are you going? Huh? What are you up to? You up to no good? Huh? What are you doing over there? Huh? What are you doing over there? What are you doing over there? Huh? What are you doing over there? What are you doing over there, little fella? Oh, another ear scratching? Well, fellas, we're gonna finish up the, uh, finish up some more. No needle nose, we've already done those. Let's get those out of the way. We're gonna talk about more, some more Nipex versus Snap-on. Once again, I can't express this enough, top tier brands. I'm gonna throw a few budget ones in there for you budget-minded people. Always trying to think about everybody. So a lot of you know I just picked up these pliers and I wanted to bring something to attention because I had a couple people that uh, asked questions on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram or you're in Instagram, check me out. CP the Tool Attic. Everything's CP the Tool Attic. You want to get a hold of me on the email? CP the Tool Attic. Everything's CP the Tool Attic. Um, everything's in my About section on my YouTube page too. But one thing is somebody said the Nipexes were way better than the Snap-ons. And uh, I guess that's relative, once again, to how you look at it. These are definitely well capable of doing the job. And there's, uh, you know, the Nipexes are two sets of pliers. So this is, this is the same as two sets of Nipex pliers because this has internal and external. Let me just put this down. Because this is internal and external, which I showed on the video of this when I did the tool haul. But these are internal and external, okay? And uh, when you look at these, these snap ring pliers, they're pretty beefy. And uh, they're definitely nothing short of being well-made, cold rolled forged steel. They don't have as near much flex, but even the beveling in there for, their, for the ease of the um, detent to go in, the attention to detail with these. But you're getting two sets of pliers with these. Well, come on, CP, you put it on backwards, you ding dong. Uh, you're getting two sets of pliers with these. So, in order to match this set in Nipex, to match this master set of snap ring pliers in Nipex, you're looking at, <laughs> uh, I think they sell them in six or eight piece sets. So, you're looking at close to $800. This set I picked up for right around 400 I think these lists were right around 500 from Snap-on. Um, so, people that were price conscientious, um, I think it would cost you when I price tried to price it on. I'm not even sure if Nipex makes the larger sizes, but these, I mean, you're talking about two, four, six, a set of six pliers right there. So one thing about this, this set, and maybe I didn't explain that enough. And that's kind of why I'm going over this. And people were asking me about this. Now you can get a cheaper internal and extra, external uh, plier set. You can always get a cheaper set than these, you know I mean? And that if you're going that route, that's fine. I never, I, you know, I don't, I'm not really, I'm just showing you what I know and how I feel. And I'm giving you what, you know, just talking about the feel, the things that I like about this and why I went this route. Um, I think this is an excellent value. A lot of people say it's overpriced, but you're talking about 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 20, tw or my math is off there. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22 24 pairs of pliers okay 24 pairs of pliers let's do some quick math on that that's roughly 20 bucks a plier right 20 40 60 80 1 20 40 60 82 20 40 um times two is 440 you know that's not that bad 40 40 bucks a plier Excuse me. That's what I was getting at. Sorry. The way I went about my math was, <coughs> was, a little <coughs> was a little bit goofy there. But yeah, roughly about 40 bucks a pliers. We're just doing ballpark figuring here. Um, you know, roughly about that. Where's the Nipex if you compare those? Because you have to buy them. They don't have internal and external. They have dedicated internal and external pliers. So that's all I want to say about that. We're going to kind of move on to the other part of this so I can kind of get into that. Hey guys, I want to say thank you for stopping by and watching this video. And if you did like it or you haven't liked it yet, please hit that like button. Remember to subscribe. If this is your first time here, I appreciate that too. Ring that bell. Help support the channel so that we can do videos like this. Uh, that's definitely what keeps us going is, is the more your support, the more we get to do, the more fun we get to have. So appreciate that. All right, now this is going to be a little bit intricate. 
Um, but uh, yeah, I just I probably talked about that a little bit too much. But we're gonna talk about cutters here now. I have several different types of cutters, um, and you have different types of dice. So we've got high leverage, we've got angled dice, straight dice, and uh, these are straight ones too. Uh, we've got the high end uh, Victors, which these things are slick Fujias, slick and high end snap on with the vector edge. We've got some wire here. We'll cut some, talk about them, um, what I do like, what I don't like. I actually, um, these are, I just read, I just actually re warranted these out. I had a set for a long time, but I just warranted these out. And uh, I got to say, I'm just a little bit disappointed with the cutters on the Nipex. This is four gauge wire. Um, and they are, uh, come on, little filler. It takes a little bit to cut through them. Um, and they, they, they're doing a lot of squishing, a lot of squishing. Now I've heard a few people complain about this too. Are they terrible? No, I'm not saying they're bad, but you know, just one of those things. I think that they're, uh, they're, they're not that old. They're just a little bit different. Now you're not, I, I'm not, these ones are not going to do as well. I mean, obviously the biggest thing is look how much wider I have to hook it up to get to this. These are more designed for some smaller stuff cutting some smaller wire um you know just a little bit del more littler things everything's just zinging across my shop they cut pretty well for the usa made sks uh the, the michael pros here they cut pretty nice too not definitely a, able to handle a job like that very relatively even got some jd ticos um these cut really pretty good too they actually cut really good. I can't complain about these at all. They're pretty nice, especially if you like green, like good old Power Stroke Jude. That guy likes, he loves his green, but those are really nice. And then of course, these are a little bit more cotter pin style. These cut really nice. These are like channel stock. I really, these things are by far some of my best cutters. I mean, they don't look like it, but that's what I like to see in a cutter when it's cutting it and holding it. I like that and that's a clean cut it's a nice clean cut no not really leaving too much jaggedness we're not doing flush cuts here so keep that in mind um in fact these will probably cut the gauge of wire and not keeping them too far open but i'm not having to stress out as much as the nipex to cut those and these are a much longer handle so you'd think the leverage on them i don't know why don't know how but I just don't have, and you can even tell by the cut. Look at the cut on that angled dike. It didn't squish the plier down as much as the Nipex did. You can rewind the video and look at it. There was no photography, trick photography. So I'm just haven't been impressed. And uh, Fujias, show you these. These will do about the same thing. These will cut straight off, and these things cut like butter. These are like high end. These things are no joke. <clears throat> Once again, pretty nice clean cut. Now when you start to get up here into these, we got the Fujias. And that, like I said, this is four gauge wire, you can see it right there. Four gauge, four aught. Get into the Fujias. A little softer wire, it's not a super hard wire, but like a cotter pin. Fujias, they're a little bit stiff too. Kind of got to get them, you see how the pop? You can tell by a cut, by how it pops, and you can probably see how it flies across there, but look at the squish on that. It's mashing it down before it cuts it. Now I'll show you the snap-ons. <clears throat> kind of show you how these little guys work here. The, the vector edges on the snap-on, buttery smooth, buttery smooth. Look at that, nice clean cut. JD Ticos, these are, no, these are another ones. Watch how these bad boys do too. Buttery, buttery smooth. Look at that. Just a nice clean cut. I don't know what it is. Maybe I got a bad pair. The edges don't look damaged on these. Um, to my knowledge, I mean, these things are really pretty new, but I, I just feel like there's been some quality. The handles move freely. There's no play in them. Well built. I can't knock that. Um, but I just, they just don't cut like I would expect them to for a high leverage plier. I mean, the effort that I got to put into them is just it's gonna fly right across 
I almost got to get two hands on. I haven't had to use two hands on dang near any plier. And then look at the squish on that, man. That's a sandwich. Uh, <laughs> that's just kind of my uh, feeling about that. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some people who are going to say some differences. But also, you know, when you're choosing these pliers, once again, the diagonals and the straights all have purposes. You know, you, you don't want to, if you're trying to get in somewhere and pull on it, where you can, like these are cotter, good for cotter pins, you can get in there, pull on it, and then pry because of that angle. You know, that's what's nice about these. I actually had a pair of Max I got rid of because the JD Ticos were so nice. You can get in there on that long stuff and you can pry on it. And then once again, in the, the straight ones, the vector edge on the snap-on is just a stellar edge. It really does hold an edge really well. Um, and these are fantastic pliers. They cut, they're nice, freely moving. I just really enjoy these. Um, they're one of my go-tos, as well as the JD Ticos. These are these are my go-tos. Uh, the Vectors or the Victors, excuse me, the Victor pliers. Look at the finish on these bad boys. I mean, that is some that's some shiny chrome. Um, I already got the handle wore off on them, but mirror finish on them. Uh, part these are Japan's. And they're uh, ZS80 175, 175, indicating the length on these. As well as the Fujias. Um, the Fujias are nice. I, the contour and the grip on them is definitely nice. It's, when you're cutting smaller wire and stuff like that, I mean, they just, they're, they're buttery smooth. You know, and the, the, when that pops, you know, I'm actually keeping, these are staying up here. You know, these little pieces are staying up here. And uh, some of these, but yeah, these are my go-to pliers. Um, these pliers right here are kind of my go-to. I'm just kind of uh, a little bit put off, put off by the Nipexes. I don't know. I've just not been too. Uh, haven't. I, I just felt like when I grabbed these other ones, I don't really need these anymore. They've been around. I've had them. These were my go-tos for a long time, and my old pair, I swear, cut way better. So um, maybe there's something different going on. I don't know, but uh, yeah, there's options for you, fellas. There's lots of options for you, you know. <laughs> Everything from, you know, inexpensive to fairly expensive. The JD Tico set's dirt cheap. I think these sets run like 69 bucks for these, and they're definitely well worth the money. Comes in a nice tray. Um, shameless plug to him, I guess. The Fujias, or the Victors. Once again, these are made in Japan. So we got Japan, USA, Germany, Taiwan, uh, the Fujias are made in Japan. So we got two pairs of Japans, USA, USA, Taiwan, USA, Germany, and then the, the JD Ticos are Taiwan. So uh, you do the you do the math on that. I think uh, I think the uh, <laughs> Germany is lose out the battle. But you let me know in that comment box. I'm sure there's going to be some people who are going to be awful rowdy about that. But and then the price on them too. They're kind of expensive, but. Anyways, guys, that's the video for you today. Uh, that should round up my Nipex versus uh, Snap-on versus other pliers competition kind of overview and talk about them, what I have and whatnot. Went a little plier crazy. So, anyways, guys, appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.